All right. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. Let's see. This one. Let's tweak this. Uh, where did the chats go? Uh, how's it going? Good afternoon. Good day. Uh, G D J Sky O One Jeff. How's it going, my friend? And Bear as well over on Discord. Nice to see you folks. Uh, let me just shuffle a few of these to where I can see them. Let's go, Michael Pocusa as well. Nice to see you, my friend. Hi from Los Angeles. Nice. Uh, Los Angeles probably. Uh, I don't know what the weather is like there, but I'm guessing a little bit warmer than where I am at currently. It's about 30 degrees and snowing, but not like heavily snowing, thankfully, which is nice. How's it going, Justin? um let's do quick introductions so hello good day to everyone thanks for tuning in i have got a cat attacking my foot Stop. um welcome to the deep dive my name is you know on top of me here all right as i try to appease the cat while i do the intro uh my name is uh tim i go by foamy guy on github and discord this is the deep dive which is a weekly live stream uh, sometimes it is with me, other times it is with Scott. Scott's the uh, lead developer of CircuitPython, um, which is a good chance to take a quick step back for anybody that might be new catching this for the first time. If you don't know uh, what I'm talking about, CircuitPython, you can learn more for the uh, at, at the main website for the project right here, circuitpython.org. This is basically a version of Python that runs on tiny computers called microcontrollers. Um, these devices typically will plug into your uh, real computer, your you know your big computer, your regular desktop or laptop computer with a USB cable. They show up like a thumb drive. You edit a Python code file on that thumb drive. And then when you save it, the microcontroller, the actual computer that is inside these little chips on the uh, on the devices here, will execute your Python code for you. Um, it can interface with all sorts of extra hardware peripherals as long as you connect them. And what you'll find is that of the 468 devices that currently support CircuitPython, um, there are loads and loads and loads of different shapes and sizes and capabilities uh, with different pieces of built-in hardware. Some have uh, just bare bones with pins. Others have screens and Wi-Fi and touch screens. Uh, others are like entire gaming handhelds, so there's all sorts of different form factors of these things. Uh, the common thread amongst these 468 of them is that they can all run CircuitPython. CircuitPython is an open source project, but it's primarily funded by Adafruit. If you would like to help support CircuitPython uh, and those of us that work on it, um, you can do so by purchasing hardware from Adafruit. They are a hardware and software company based out of New York. They design and manufacture um, not only the microcontrollers themselves, uh, but they also design and manufacture different add-ons and things for your microcontrollers. So stuff that you can plug in uh, in order to achieve other stuff, you know, sensors, beacons, buttons, beepers, buzzers, levers, switches, uh, any kind of little light up widget or doodad that you could imagine really uh, that you can connect to an electronic circuit. Um, you can probably find that thing, whatever it is, over at Adafruit. So head over there, get yourself some toys. Thank you to everybody who uh, shops at Adafruit. And thank you, of course, to Adafruit for making CircuitPython possible and for paying uh, the team who works on CircuitPython, including Scott and myself and some other uh, folks. So uh, today we are going to take a look at the an upcoming kind of like proposal for a way to refactor the way that the network uh, management works. Uh, let me catch up on the chat as well. Uh, that seems unusual. Deep dive Adafruit. Oh no, what did I do? Did I mess up the... Uh, did I mess up the YouTube thing? Timely project, I've been working on this. Sunny, I hope Scott's... Yeah, Scott's I believe out of town for the uh, for the week, but definitely uh, Scott's you know in our all of our thoughts and everything for sure. Uh, let me check. I feel like I have messed up the YouTube thing. Let me go try to figure out what I did.
How did you find that? Can you link me to that or something? I only see one. Oh no, I do see the second one actually. Deep dive. Okay, I've never done this live, so I don't know what's about to happen. If we lose folks, I'm sorry. Try refreshing if you're on YouTube, especially you might get lost. Uh, there's potentially two YouTube links, so if uh, if what I am about to do cuts you off, maybe try looking for the other link. If we have somebody in the chat on Discord in just a moment who's watching YouTube and it keeps working, uh, drop the link to the one you're using, and then uh, other folks can maybe switch over to that one, because I don't think I'm really meant to be on two. Uh, I'm not sure for sure if that's going to 